hello students so next we will consider sex determination in birds so here the example of bird that we have taken that is chicken so a very interesting method occurs here in sex determination in birds so here the total number of chromosomes in the chicken it is 78 so there are 78 chromosomes in birds that is in chicken so 78 is the diploid number right 78 is the diploid number followed okay now the we shall write the chromosome complement here in case of the birds the chromosome complement in case of birds so the male birds so 76 autosomes plus zz it is the chromosome complement in male bird in the female bird So in female bird, seventy six A plus Z W. This is the chromosome complement. So here Z Z and Z W. These are the sex chromosomes. So in birds also, sex determination takes place by sex chromosomes. That's why this type of sex determination in birds it is called Z Z. Z W so it is called Z Z Z W type sex determination which is observed in birds now here in males there are two Z chromosomes in female there is one Z and one W chromosome. So two sex chromosomes here they are similar in case of birds. In case of female birds, the two sex chromosomes are not same. They are dissimilar. So in males they are similar. In female birds they are dissimilar. So here you can observe heterogamity and homogamity, right? So heterogamity is observed in female birds. homogamity is observed in male birds so here to observe male homogamy right so male homogamy is observed in case of birds right so males produce homogamets all gametes are similar right all gametes or all sperms they are same all sperms they carry z chromosome now just see here this is the chromosome complement of a male bird so male bird has this chromosome complement so this will produce sperms so male produces sperms or male gametes which are having a sex chromosome that is z so all sperms all sperms will have a z chromosome along with 38 autosomes so 38 autosomes plus 
a sex chromosome that is Z. So all 100% sperms will have Z chromosome along with autosomes. This is called male homogamity. All similar sperms with Z chromosome are produced in case of male birds. Now we shall consider female birds. So female birds exhibit Female birds exhibit a process called female heterogamity. So what is this female heterogamity? That means a female produces two types of gametes or a female produces two types of eggs or it produces two types of ova. So we shall consider those two types of ova. Ova is the plural form, singular is ova, also called as X. Now this female bird, it has this similar sex chromosomes. That's why it produces two types of X, which is called female heterogamity. So we shall consider the chromosomes here. So like this, so 50% X will have 38 autosomes and one sex chromosome that is W. Another 50% X, they have 38 autosomes and one sex chromosome that is W. So 50% X have Z chromosome. Another 50% chromosome, sorry, 50% eggs have W chromosome. So this is called female heterogamity. Now, during fertilization, during fertilization, that is the fusion of male and female gametes, also called a sin gamete. When a sperm fuses with ova, so I will write it here. When a sperm, now remember all sperms have only Z chromosome. All sperms have Z chromosome. So sperm fuses with ova. Now here the ovum, if it has this, if it has a Z chromosome along with autosomes. Now the product that is formed here, the product of fertilization, it is, the product of fertilization is the zygote. So sperm and ovum fuse to form a zygote. Now, can you tell me which chromosomes do you find in this zygote? So it is ZZ. This Z and this Z, they come together. So the pair of sex chromosomes in the zygote are ZZ. What about the number of autosomes? So 38 plus 38. So you get how much? 76. So there are 76 autosomes. So 76 autosomes plus a pair of sex chromosomes which are ZZ. So 76 autosomes plus 2, it is 78. So the chromosome number is 78. Now this zygote, it will develop to form which sex? So ZZ. It will form the male bird. Right? So this zygote develops to form male body. Then another possibility when a sperm, when a sperm, so naturally again Z it has Z chromosome. When the sperm fuses with 
over. So here it may have W. So in this type of fertilization, where a sperm carrying Z chromosome fuses with the ovum having W chromosome, you get a product that is called zygote. The zygote form here will have which sex chromosomes? Z and W. So it will have Z and W. Now this zygote, it will develop, it will develop and form the offspring which is having with sex. It will form a female bird. So this zygote will develop to produce a female which will have ZW along with, along with autosomes. Right? So it will have 76 autosomes plus a pair of sex chromosomes that is ZW. So 76 plus 2 it will become 78. Right? So this is how this is how sex is determined in case of birds. So your egg is responsible for the determination of sex or the female gamete is responsible for the determination of sex. Right? So you may expect question how sex determination takes place in case of birds. So you have to explain this. Right? So you may even expect what is Z, 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 W type of sex determination? In which organism does it occur? So, again, you have to explain this. So, in previous video, we discussed the sex determination in man. So, in man, it is called XY type of sex determination. Right? Whereas in birds it is ZZ, ZW type sex determination. So in the next video we shall continue with the next part. So we shall stop here. Thank you.